I'm back from holiday. I'm just going to wait for some more people to sign in and log in. How do I get... There you go. Thanks, Julie. So, look, I'm peeling. I'm peeling from my holiday. I want to tell you a story about my holiday. It's a great story. It's a great story. <clears throat> I went to Tenerife. I've just been to Tenerife with my children. Um, when I went independent, if you're watching this, give it a share. When I went independent, I sat down with Kaylin, George and Lucy. Lucy left Rebel Media. I asked Kaylin and George if they'd work, and all of them if they'd work voluntary with me so that we could show people what we want to do, so people could see what an independent Tommy Robinson will be doing. I wanted people to see what we'd be doing. And <clears throat> we went non-stop, literally non-stop. We travelled everywhere. And I said then that I was going to have a two-week break when my children were on half-term. I've just been on holiday with my family. Kaylin and George and the camera team are on holiday now. Or they're on a break now. And we start back on the 17th. And when we start back on the 17th, we are going hell for leather again. I've got so many stories, so many shocking stories that we're going to bring you. Stories that the media are refusing to, to talk about, even though they know about them. But the, the reason why I want to talk to you now, quickly, is about Barry Armstrong from Newcastle. Barry, if you're watching this, brilliant, mate. So I've gone on holiday, I've gone to Tenerife, and I've met a man called Barry Armstrong. And I'm with my family. And I met up with Lutz Backman. Lutz Backman is the German leader of Pegida and the founder of Pegida. He lives in Tenerife. So I went on holiday, I took my kids away and I went to meet with Lutz. And because I get on great with Lutz, I love him. So I want to spend a couple of days with Lutz. And um, I met this man called Barry Armstrong. And he's come up, he, he got, started speaking. He said, can I take you for dinner? Can I take you out somewhere for dinner? So we went out for dinner. He bought me a 1.2 kilo of steak. Brilliant. Yeah? But as we're talking, Barry's asked, what are your plans? What are your plans for the future? What do you want to do? And I've got so many plans of what I want to do as an independent Tommy Robinson and how, how I want to do it with regards to a studio. But I said one of the main plans I've got is I want a red double-decker bus. That's what I want. If you're watching this, give it a share. I want a red double-decker Let me just put that on. Let me just put that on. Yeah. I want a red double-decker British bus. And I want to turn the upstairs of this red double-decker British bus into a TV studio. And I've already got someone kindly, a brilliant man, who's kindly made me a desk for this. So I said, I want a, I want a red double-decker bus. And I want to make one whole side of that bus. I want to make it a TV screen. I want to make it an outdoor playing TV screen. And then I want to do research into cities. Say, for example, Manchester. I've got so much dirt on Manchester. So much dirt on the politicians. So much dirt on the council, the police, all of them of what they're up to and who they're working with and how they're, inf how they're enhancing the radicalisation themselves of extremist groups. So I'll explain this to Barry. That's what I want to do, Barry. I want to travel around the UK and I'll let people know. This Friday night, I'm in Leeds and I'll rock up in my bus and yes, people will want to attack it and smash it up, but we'll fortify it. And I'll bring a TV show on the road across the UK to your cities. And I'll have guests into that. And I'll be going out live on the camera. Let's go see what's going on. And we'll go outside. And hopefully you people will come out to support this show. So I explain. It's going to get smashed up. But it's all, all be on camera when it gets smashed up. All of this will be exciting TV. Plus bringing you raw politics on the street. That's what I want to do. So I explain to this man, Barry Armstrong. This is what I want to do, Barry. I want to buy a red double-decker bus. And I want to do this show. And I want to build it and create it. And I want to, have, and I want to travel the country. When there's a grooming gang. I want pictures of that grooming gang on my bus and I want to drive around their, their towns and cities. I want everyone to know who they are. That's what I want to do anyway. That's my plan. So I said, Barry, I met Barry. Barry's 72 years old from Newcastle. Barry, this is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. He said, it sounds brilliant. He said, give me your number. So I took his number. I woke up in the morning and I was thinking, I swear I was speaking to Barry last night. Was I dreaming or was I speaking to Barry? So I've looked from my phone, I thought, no, I was speaking to Barry, what the hell was I speaking And he must have woke me up in my sleep. I must have been talking to him in my sleep. So I've looked through my phone, 
and I've seen a message saying, I bought you your bus. I bought you your bus. So I've rang this, I've rang this Barry. I'm like, all right, mate, he's a Geordie boy. He's 72 years old. He said, Tommy, I bought your bus, mate. I said, what do you mean you bought my bus? He said, I went online and I bought you a a bus. What a story. The man's bought the bus. And we've now got a red double-decker bus that I've got to collect now I'm home. I've got to go collect this bus. Tell CJ I'll be a couple of minutes. Right, mate. Sorry, my mate, I'm just making sure there's no picture of my kids. But yeah, Barry's bought the bus. (laughs) He's bought the bus. He's met me for an hour. We've gone out for dinner. And he bought a red double-decker bus because he said he, he wants to see this work. Now, we've got, a, we've got to create a screen, but I've got a friend whose company does that. So we need to create a screen. One whole side of the bus will be an outdoor playing screen. When I'm doing a live show upstairs, it'll be beamed on the screen. People can come and watch. It, I think it's a, a brilliant idea. But what a lad Barry is. Barry Armstrong from Newcastle. I'm in your debt. Thank you. And the, he just casually the next morning... Tommy, I bought your bus. <laughs> I bought your bus. You just got to go collect it, mate, when you get home. So, yeah, this is a video for me, now that I'm home, to say to Barry, mate, what a legend. What a legend. Facebook goons are trying to interrupt, yeah. So, Barry's bought a bus. We, we now own a red, double decker, a, red, a red double-decker bus. We've got a lot to do. It's an, it's an old bus, but we need to kit it up, work it out. Build a studio upstairs, fortify it. I've got somewhere for it, safe for it, for it to go. And then we need to plan a tour. Tour the UK. <laughs> Look, I'm split. So, yeah. And, of course, I'm going to come to Newcastle because Barry, who bought the bus, was from Newcastle. Barry's from Newcastle, lives out in Tenerife. He lives out there. I met him. And um, by the end of the night, I just woke up. What a story. My son, can't, but my son was obviously with me when we went for dinner. And I'm like, in the morning, I'm like, Barry's bought a bus. And I'm saying to my missus, the geese have bought a bus. And my son just keeps saying, Barry, this. my son's so shocked by it as well. But yeah, my little story, just wanted to share it with you. It was a great holiday story, man. And I'll say to people, and I'm gonna, I'll share you now the picture in the morning. Has it got his number? The picture of where he's got the picture of the bus. It's just got from him. I bought your bus. <laughs> I bought your bus. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back from holiday. Um... My camera team, we're all back to work on the 17th. And then we have got some stories I want to bring you, man. Some unbelievable stories. Um, do I go, shall I go into it now? Do I go into it now? I want to, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, we've got so much coming up. We've got the Day of Freedom. We're calling it the Day of Freedom. We're going to have a massive, massive march on the 6th of May about free speech. We've got guests, some high profile guests coming from America, Canada. We've got so many people involved in this. We're going to be putting a promo video out for you when people are, I think people are going to get excited when they see who's involved and the, the professionalism of what we're going to do on the 6th of May. We've hired, I've hired a a screen, a huge screen, so we can show videos. I want, really want to dissect and show people what's going on with freedom of speech in the UK, the way it's being attacked, and it's organised. There's an, It's organised with our politicians, our police leaders, our government are working now at, with social media companies to remove your, your ability to listen to other points of view. That's what they're doing. That's the future. That's what's currently happening, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be YouTube. They're putting pressure on all of them. That's fascism. When the, when the government are working with companies in order to isolate and, and attack people because of their beliefs. And yeah, but anyway, so many plans. Just wanted to share that. Just wanted to share that story about Barry. Barry Armstrong, you legend. Thank you. And as I said, on the 17th, I'm back on my team. We are going to go nonstop. We've got so much we want to bring you. So many stories, so many things to show. And um, yeah, we're going to be back with a bang. So, and another thing because I haven't said it again, or I haven't had the opportunity, I want to say to every single person, anyone, so I say to people, if you want to support us, go to TommyRobinson.online. I've been overwhelmed by the amount of support we're receiving. I wouldn't be able to plan things or trips or look at where we're going next and dedicate the time and have Caelan, George and Lucy. Um, obviously, they've, they've volunteered for the last six weeks. They've volunteered for the last six weeks. We now want to progress into a team where I hope that everyone's enjoyed the content for the last 
since I've gone independent. We want to bring plenty more of that. And I just want to say a personal to any single person who has took the time to go online. If you took the time even to share our videos, I want to say a thank you. The Twitter are trying to remove us. The only way to combat that and to stop that is for people to go on themselves and share the content that we put up. So, yeah, if you've gone on, anyone who's supported us, anyone who's helped us financially on TommyRobinson.online, a personal thank you from me to you. We, want, we have a massive future planned. We want to rock the nation. We want to become the media outlet or the media channel or the go-to channel for the opposite view, which we already are. I'm going to bring you a news story in the next week that's going to shock this nation. It's going to shock this nation, the, the absolute disgraceful treatment of, a, of three families who lost their sons, who lost their sons, who were murdered. And, yeah, I don't want to go into too much because I want to save it for the programme we're about to bring you. The, I've met these families, spent time with them. In fact, the week before I went on holiday... I, couldn't, I haven't stopped thinking about these families. And I haven't stopped. And I've heard some terrible stories over the last 10 years. But nothing could compare me to... I must have cried my eyes out for, for, for a week. When I, every time I got away and I think about it. And I think about what these mothers are, are, are having to go through. And I stood... These are three young boys who were murdered in London as a car mounted the pavement and killed them. And I, I went to the court case. I listened to their, I listened to their mother's impact statements. Nothing. The, what, they're, what they're going through, and not just what they're going through, but the, the disgraceful treatment that they're receiving from the authorities and the police. And the unbelievable, the unbelievable just, the way, I, I, you'll have to sit, you'll see the video. I'm going to bring you the interviews, but yeah, I'll bring you the interviews from the mums. I'll bring you the, the backdrop, the history, what's gone on, the lies, the lies, the lies from the government, the lies from the police, the lies that they're telling in court. I've seen it in my own eyes. So, yeah, I want to bring you that. And um, and I wouldn't be able to bring you that. I wouldn't be able to spend three, four days with those families. I wouldn't be able to travel around and meet those families if it wasn't for you people. We have no big donors, no big supporters. We literally want to be by the people for the people. We've had people, other, other channels offering us to come back on board. I, I went independent because I want to be independent. I want to be in control of everything. I want to be in control of the stories we're telling. I want to be in control of, if you, if you give money, I want to be in control of where it goes. I wasn't before, I am now. So thank you personally to everyone here. We'll, um, yeah, back on the 17th. See you later.